Navigating the number C. Decoding large numbers in English. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning journey. Today, we're diving deep into a very exciting and important topic, especially when it comes to mathematics, statistics, and everyday life. Large numbers. Large numbers can seem a bit intimidating at first, but don't worry, by the end of this video, you will be able to understand and use large numbers with ease. First things first, let's understand what we mean by large numbers. In English, we refer to large numbers as any number above 1000. That includes thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, billions, and beyond. We group these numbers for easier reading and pronunciation, a system that is not only convenient but also pretty logical when you get the hang of it. Understanding large numbers is all about place values. Remember, each digit in a number has a place value, which is determined by the position of the digit. For example, in the number 1234, the place values are 1 is in the thousands place, 2 is in the hundreds place, 3 is in the tens place, 4 is in the ones place. This idea of place values becomes even more critical as numbers get larger. So let's see how this works with large numbers. In the realm of large numbers, our first stop is the thousands. Numbers in the thousands are usually read as X thousand, where X is the number in the thousands place. For example, 5000 is read as 5000. This pattern extends as we get into 10,000s and 100,000s. For instance, 50,000 is read as 50,000, and 500,000 is pronounced 500,000. Now, let's step into the world of the millions and billions. Just like thousands, we pronounce these numbers by specifying the number in the millions or billions place. For example, 6 million is 6 million, and 7 billion is 7 billion. We also group numbers into three digits when we pronounce large numbers. So, 123,456,789 is pronounced as 123,456,789. The best way to master large numbers is through practice. Write down large numbers, say them aloud, listen to others pronounce them, and you'll get the hang of it in no time. And there we have it, a quick but insightful journey into the world of large numbers in English. With a bit of practice, these numbers will become second nature to you. Remember, it's all about understanding place values and grouping numbers. Thank you for joining us today, and remember, every big journey begins with a single step, or in this case, a single digit. Happy learning!